You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. And welcome back. We are joined by Dan Durkin, West Bloomfield School District Public Relations and Marketing Coordinator. And Dan, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. Happy to be here. And it's nice to have you here in West Bloomfield. So mm -hmm. tell me where you came from. I initially, uh, most recently came from uh, Wild Lake Schools. Spent six years out over there uh, in a marketing community relations kind of aspect for their school district. I uh, learned a great deal. Two years prior to that, I was actually in Berkeley Schools, so a little bit smaller of a district, doing a very similar thing for them, doing a lot of their video work, uh, a lot of their digital marketing and things of that nature. Okay, so how long have you been in West Bloomfield? Uh, today marks six weeks. All right. So I'm trying to, hopefully soon I'll know where they keep all the uh, the, the copiers and all those different <laughs> kinds of things, so we'll get there eventually. All right, so uh, why the move? Tell me. Well, it was just kind of the opportunity I was looking for, and it kind of, you know, this opportunity came up at the right time. I knew I'd spent... I, then you never want to say you've come too far, you've accomplished everything you wanted to accomplish, but I knew I was ready for the next opportunity to maybe take on a school, an entire school district's communications strategy and department at that point. So I started looking around, and then when this opportunity came up, just being so close in Wald Lake for the past six years, I thought it was a no-brainer. And having a previous relationship with Pam Zajac already, knowing all the great things she was doing, I thought you know everything I'd learned about West Bloomfield just in that relationship you know, was an opportunity I didn't want to pass up. So West Bloomfield, Wald Lake, a little bit similar, but West Bloomfield a lot smaller. A lot smaller. And you said you like that. Yeah, it's, uh, it very much reminds me of kind of the community I grew up in, up in the Davison area, up in Flint. And um, just there's a strong sense of community here. And it's, it's really neat to kind of see everyone pushing towards the same goal. You know, kiddos that go to Doherty will end, end up going to Olms, that end up going to the high school. And it's just a kind of a combined experience that you have in a small district along with that small town feel all while being in a major suburban area, too, at the same time. So it's a really unique kind of combination of things and attributes that really make West Bloomfield special, and I'm really happy to be here. Okay, so here's the million-dollar question. What are you going to do? <laughs> well, you know, I, it's one of those things with following an institution like Pam Zajac. You want to you definitely make sure you're at least doing the things that everyone expects of this department already. Uh, in these six weeks, that's been my goal every day coming in, is to at least do it, do it the way Pam was doing it, mm -hmm. or at least as good all while trying to find my own way to put my own stamp on things. Uh, maybe it's just my age, maybe it's just my background. I really wanted to focus more on some, maybe some digital marketing, uh, certainly using social media more. I uh, really hope that people in the community have seen that, uh, that change already in these first six weeks, uh, utilizing that as a tool to communicate not only to our parents, but re really our community, all the great things that are going on. It's such a supportive community, especially with the bond a few years ago. I want people to know what their bond dollars, what their tax dollars are being used for in the classrooms and all the great learning taking place. And it's really hard to be in more than one place at the mm -hmm. same time. And social media really allows Absol you to do that, right? Absolutely. And yeah, that's the great thing is that if um, you know, there's an event going on, a, a Dads and Donuts one morning at Doherty or something like that, the principal can be taking pictures, sharing that information with me, sharing it with his community, and I can come back, share it with our community while I've been jumping out to different other places, different other locations, th and things going on like that. So it's really just it allows you know, my department and our district to really showcase everything that's really going on through the power of social media. So website changes coming, going, staying the same? Well, I, I've, if I've heard anything is it needs some work, okay. uh, both from people within our district, you know, so the back-end users that are adding the content, and also from the parents. Um, being a new parent myself, mm -hmm. I know, you know those minutes, those, that time you're spending on websites is precious if you're trying to find the school lunch menus, you need to find them quickly because you need to go on, you need to run to soccer practice or something like that. So trying to reevaluate kind of maybe our layouts, um, maybe our overall design, just try to fig you know, figure out how we can more efficiently serve not only our students and our staff, but our parents at home. Okay, I want to turn it to not the dark side mm -hmm. by any means, but um, if something, uh, you know, there's fire alarms, mm -hmm. there's lockdown drills, mm -hmm. there's, there's stuff that happens, and sure. we all know that in this day and age. Mm -hmm. So if something should, God forbid, happen, yeah in the district, are you the guy parents hear from? I believe so. It would be myself and or the superintendent um, okay. as far as an overall communication. Uh, we hope to, we always want to communicate the whatever we know, when we know it. We mm -hmm. always want to be transparent when those things do arise. God forbid they do arise. Uh, we want to make sure we've trained for those kinds of things as far as our responses and figuring out our crisis communication and things of that nature. Um, on a much lo lesser scale, we've gone over like school closure procedures and made some tweaks to that given all the new staff members and administrators okay. we've had. So for the kids at home, that's a little bit more fun of a crisis to deal with as a school closure. Right. But we want to make sure we're prepared for everything and be able to handle any situation that comes about. So. Okay, so what are you most looking forward to this year? 
Most looking forward to. I mean, just really, it's such an ex exciting time to be in West Bloomfield schools with, you know, recently com uh, completing all the bond projects over the summer, um, you know, coming up into all the fun activities of the fall. It's amazing to me just coming to this district and seeing all the great stuff that's happened in the first three or four weeks of the school year. First month of the school year, I can't believe the number of cool news stories that have come to me to then share out with our community and share out with our media. Uh, so I just look to try to make my mark best I can, try to find out where I fit into the overall machine that is, mm -hmm. is the district, and try to make sure that I'm serving the, you know, the staff and the students first and foremost, and then also the community at large. And if parents, anyone needed to get in touch with you, or are you open to suggestions? Absolute, is the district absolutely. open to by suggestions? All, by all means, look me up on uh, the district uh, uh, website directory. It's daniel.durkin at, at wbsd.org. Still learning the email title. <laughs> but uh, no, we're, we're open and ready to listen to anything we can do to po uh, possibly serve the community better. Uh, by all means, look us up on social media, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And uh, we send out a weekly um, parent community newsletter that goes out every Friday most Fridays, um, just with all the resources and links that parents could possibly need, all the cool news stories that are going on, uh, whether it's students doing great things, staff doing great things. We want to share that stuff with the community so they really know what a special place we really have here. Okay, well, thank you so much, and welcome. Thank you so much. And I know you have a new baby. Not yes. that new, kind of new. 13 months. 13 he, he months, still qualified. Yeah, still new. So, yeah, so, so, of course, he'll be going to West Bloomfield Schools, right? Right, right yep. <laughs> so, thank you again for joining thank us. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you. And again, this uh, has been Dan Durkin, West Bloomfield School District Public Relations and Marketing Coordinator. Thanks for watching a segment of The Splash. To catch the entire show or other segments, watch us on Comcast Channel 15 or AT&T Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us on WBLD 89.3, the all-new Lakes FM.